New tonight at 8, several refineries in California are preparing to receive crude oil by rail, but it is a hugely controversial issue. Crown Force Jeff Bush is live tonight in Benicia near one of the plants which will receive crude by rail. Jeff, what's the controversy? Well, Pam, we are just outside the Valero refinery and right next to the railroad tracks that will someday carry crude oil into this refinery. But the State Department of Emergency Services says several things need to happen before that can be done safely. And most of those things involve money. $55 million needs to be set aside for emergency cleanup funds. Also, dozens of regulators need to be hired. And another part of that money train is technology. And that means that technology needs to be installed onto the train cars to make sure that regulators can make sure that the oil is getting to the refinery safely. But environmental groups say not so fast. Let's take some video that was shot back in April. This is in Lynchburg, Virginia, and you can see the utter devastation caused by this train crash. That train was carrying crude oil. They're still cleaning that mess up today. Um, transporting oil by rail is inherently dangerous. It's a terrible idea, especially in California with our dilapidated railway infrastructure. We have uh, thou literally thousands of bridges um, that are not adequately inspected, but that are not inspected at all by any California entity. Uh, you have one federal inspector assigned to the, all of California's bridges, along with 10 other states. There simply isn't sufficient oversight. And even in, when crude by rail is operating as it's supposed to, there are not accidents. There are air quality impacts, greenhouse gas emissions, climate change impacts. And all of this is going to be paid for by the oil companies themselves. A six and a half cent tax will be tacked on to every barrel of oil that is inserted into the state of California. I'm Jeff Bush reporting live in Benicia, Cron 4 News.